Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. Thank you for tuning in. This is a Gemini reading for all signs, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs, also cross watchers as well. Thank you all for watching. So we can jump into this reading. We've got messages to outline this reading today. We've got healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. We've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real, worth exploring. we got pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Lovely. Okay, we'll get some tarot and tap into the energies surrounding your current situation right now, this week. Do remember energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. There's no gender in tarot. It's all just energies. So please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation. So we've got a three card spread giving us the Knight of Wands, Two of Wands and the Moon. Pisces energy. So we'll clarify and dig a bit deeper. We've got the Magician, we've got the Queen of Cups, and we've got the Emperor, Aries Energy. So that's further clarified with the Eight of Wands, the Devil, Capricorn Energy, and Queen of Wands. Okay, before I go and in, get into this reading, I'll also give you... The messages from the Love Oracle deck for further insight for this reading. We've got Mirror. We've got Karmic Relationship. Mask. Coffin. Love Call. And Engagement Ring. Oh. Right. So, yeah, let's get into this reading. I can see this reading is uh, picking up the energy of someone that is, <clears throat> oh, sorry, throat chakra. Yeah, I feel like someone getting ready to uh, open up communication here. <laughs> Clearing the throat and that. Yeah, eight of wands. So uh, this is uh, the energy of someone that is really attracted to you here i can see this is someone that has a, a strong chemistry towards you strong passionate chemistry towards you knight of wands queen of wands they find you so attractive yeah we've got chemistry here as well to confirm there's a strong magnetic attraction here yeah no doubt no doubt it's very passionate there's a lot of passion here could be dealing with a fire sign there's a lot of wands yeah you could be dealing with an aries we've got emperor or a leo or sagittarius a lot of wands in this reading a lot of passion in this reading this is someone that they're very uh, sexually attracted to you definitely you've got the devil energy as well so there's a lot there's a strong sexual desire towards you from this person coming in because this person is actually coming in Knight of Wands is actually taking action here. And Eight of Wands is forward movement. It is action, speed, things taking off quickly. So I feel like this is a, there's a strong chemistry in this connection. With this, this is someone that's coming in here that you both have a strong attraction for each other. I feel like uh, things can move off pretty quickly here you guys will hit it off because uh yeah the chemistry is insane <laughs> the chemistry is absolutely insane and uh yeah i feel like yeah this this is someone that um yeah they're actually you know ready for a new adventure here yeah, this is someone that is at a crossroads right now. And uh, yeah, they're looking to start a new adventure, a new chapter here. And they want to start a new beginning with you. It looks like. Queen of Cups. So, uh, 
yeah water energy you might have scorpio cancer or pisces in your chart but yeah i can see this is someone that really cares about you they really care about you they do we've got the moon here as well pisces energy yeah deep feelings their feelings are deep the feelings they have for you is deep yeah it's it's hidden as well with that moon energy they have hidden feelings for you yeah leads me to this message here we've got mask not showing true feelings hide personify pretend delude gaslighting yeah this is someone that um was hiding their feelings here this is someone's got some deep feelings here and they, they were hiding it they're suppressing their feelings for you probably out of fear fear of opening up fear to be vulnerable here but this person they got a lot of feelings they got true feelings here yeah it leads me to this message as well romantic feelings feelings are real and worth exploring <laughs> listen wow this is someone that really loves you here they really love you they've got a lot of feelings for you hidden this is a pretender this is someone that was pretending not to care pretending not to you know have any feelings for you but um yeah they come to a stage in their life now where they've got to make a choice you know it's time to make a choice here and what they really want to do with their life moving forward because they're at a crossroads now where something's got to give you know something's got to change in their life you know what i mean yeah i feel like wherever they're at right now it's it's no longer serving them wherever they are in their life right now it's not serving this person it's not serving their highest good yeah, we've got a karmic relationship. Yeah, I feel like this person is attached to a karmic relationship. Hey, yeah. It says uh, fleeting triggers. Fleeting triggers turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Yeah. It's a karmic relationship and uh, I feel like they've learnt the lessons in that cycle, in that karmic relationship. They're, it's ready, they're ready to move on now. They've learnt the lessons here. I feel like they're letting it go, devil in reverse. They're letting go of um, unhealthy situations or unhealthy patterns, beliefs. Yeah. We've got coffin. It says endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, transition. I'm telling you, this is what's going on. This is someone actually... Letting go of a karmic situation here, putting themselves first, letting go and loving you. They're putting themselves first here. This person is ready to follow their heart and their passions. Yeah, it looks like it looks like their heart is with you here. This is why they're gonna pursue you. Yeah. They're closing one chapter. To start a new chapter, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. This person is free to pursue their happiness here. Yeah, they've learnt lessons here and they're ready to elevate and ascend to the next level on their journey. Beautiful here. And uh, you guys are a match. I mean, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. This person feels like you are the one to elevate with, you know, because you're already up there. You're already at that level that they want to be at. Queen, you're a queen of wands right now, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, this person wants to be significant in your life. They really do. Emperor, they want to be significant in your life. They want to join you. Yeah, because you guys mirror each other. We've got mirroring. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. Yeah, when it comes to you here, listen, this person learns a lot about themselves. Because it's like, this connection they have with you 
you know, it's like a mirror. You guys mirror each other, you know. So they, you expose the wounds inside their internal wounds for them to heal. And they, in, they expose your internal wounds for you to heal, you know. It's a very powerful connection. Yeah, soulmate, soulmate connection. Definitely, no doubt. You guys mirror each other. So that's beautiful because you both help each other heal. You both help each other heal. And uh, I feel like you've helped this person heal as well. Because they're in this position where they're ready to follow their heart. That's beautiful. Yeah, this person, they were... They were attached, you know, in toxic behaviours, toxic patterns, toxic lifestyles, toxic relationships. Yeah, you've helped this person, you know, to heal and to detach, you know, to put themselves first. They've learned the act of self-love, yeah. That is very important. Self-love. Because when, when you have self-love, then you attract the love that you deserve. It's beautiful. This person probably dreams about you, moon energy. Yeah, this indicates dreams, you know, things that's deep and subconscious. It comes up in their dreams. This person dreams about you and everything. They get signs. I feel like this person gets signs from the universe as well. Like they see numbers, angel numbers, synchronicity, synchronicity numbers, you know, one, 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 two, 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 four, 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 you know, especially one, 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 eleven, eleven. This person, yeah, they see numbers and everything. I mean, it's like the universe is just guiding this person towards you here. And it's like your confidence as well just draws this person in. Things are going to move off really quickly here in this situation. Because I can see this person reaching out here. Eight of Wands. This indicates communication. Things moving off quickly. Yeah, it leads me to this message here. Love call. Someone expresses love. A message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. Love call, yeah, they're going to reach out. This is someone that's going to definitely reach out to you. Yeah, I'm so attracted to you right now. There's a strong sexual desire as well. <laughs> this person is going to do some serious flirting with you, I swear to God. They are going to do some serious flirting with you because the way they're feeling towards you right now. <sighs> yeah, I don't feel like they'll be able to you know, keep their, hand, their hands to themselves, even. <laughs> Strong chemistry here. Strong chemistry. But at the same time, we have got this message here, which we can't ignore. It says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, uh, yeah. I feel like you guys really should, you know, take things a step at a time here, baby steps here, yeah, because uh, I feel like there is uh, red flags in this situation, you know, I mean, I feel like there is, st the healing process is still continuing, you know, this person, they haven't all the way healed, you know, they're just... They have learned, but they I feel like they still they still got a long way to go with their healing, you know. Yeah. But it will I feel like the more you guys spend time with each other and get to know each other, you know, it will speed up the healing process definitely. I feel like this person needs you to heal to help them with their healing process. Yeah, they need your healing. I'm hearing sexual healing. <laughs> and so this person wants to be intimate with you in the worst way. But take things slow. Pay attention to the red flags, you guys. You know, but things may move quickly. We've got engagement ring. Wow. I'm leaving this reading here. 
So I'll see you all soon.